bridging is a nice exercise that we can start off with because you can progress it. Um, so if we bend your knees up a little bit more. So if you do it with your feet down here, that's okay, but you'll be biasing your hamstrings a bit more. Yeah. Um, so we don't necessarily mm -hmm. want those to work too much today. So with a bridge, again, we want to check what's going on here. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. um, and what we, what I like to do is just add a little bit of a, a small pelvic tilt in, but making sure they're not doing it using their upper glute, upper glute max. Right. So tilt, do a small tilt for me. So take, relax down again. So you're not lifting off the bed. Okay. You're just tilting your, these knobbly bones towards your ribs okay. and your ribs down towards there. Okay, perfect. Big knobbly bones. I call them the knobbly bones on the front of the pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> Anatomically correct. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just do a little push through the heels and then we're going to try and use these muscles here to lift up off the, off the bed. So we want to be feeling it, that's it. We want to be feeling it in those, that lateral kind of yep. corner of the glutes. Lift a bit higher. So this is your first nice double leg exercise to do. Again, you want to be looking at weight, so you don't want to be shifting off that painful side yep. because you want to be t tolerate, um, getting the tendon to tolerate that load. So from there, you can do um, a, a sort of a little hip thrust, so up and down without going all the way down. As they go down, just trying to just relax their, their gluteal muscles and then use them to bring them back up again. Now, to make this harder, you can move into an offset bridge. So if you go all the way down, so we want to say work this leg. We're gonna put this heel closer to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're now gonna work this leg a little bit more. Same movement, we're gonna go up and into that bridge a little bit higher. Can so, you feel the difference? Yeah. So you can feel you're loading that side yeah. more. So again, if they're very irritable, I'd be sort of saying, where are you feeling it? Just to make sure they're feeling it in the right place and then come back down again. The next step is transitioning into a single leg. Now this right. is often quite hard and often what people will do is, if you go onto one leg for me, so do a single leg bridge. So that's it, if you lift up. What they'll often do is start dropping at this point and they, mm -hmm. can't, they can't correct it no matter what they do. So then you're kind of in a position where you think, right, we need to start moving things on, but I'm not happy to give that as an exercise. You can come down. The, the transitional is adding load into the bridge. Yeah. So you would add load onto their tummy. So In the form of? Well, if you're in a gym, um, a plate would be yeah. great, but, but often... don't you want your patients to do this at home as yes, well? Yes, exactly. So if they, don't, if they don't go to a gym, which is most common, um, you can use home items to mm -hmm. try and increase the load. So if you think one litre... for example. Yeah, exactly. Your child. <laughs> get your child on there. Um, so if you think one litre of water is one kilogram. So if you get a rucksack, you could get a milk... Um, a large milk container, fill it with water, because you don't want it to maybe spill. Um, mm. You, you can quite easily get up to five kilograms, if not more, um, by just increasing that load in, in a rucksack or a bag for life. Right. So that's a really nice way to start to build up the difference between double leg and single yeah. leg. Every day, five times a day? I would get them to do it every day, and I like them to set the reps. So really, if you're trying to build up strength in the, in the muscle, um, then you want to be getting them to work you don't, you don't really need them to be doing 20. You want them to be doing maybe up to between sort of three and, and eight maybe, where the last rep they do is, oh, I could only do one or two yeah. more. I'm so glad you said that, because I thought we've had Claire Minchel on this show talking about strength training before. And if you give us something different- it's Absolutely. Be I know, I, I, I love Claire Minchel's That's stuff. It. I think yeah. she's fantastic. Yeah, she is fantastic. Yeah. But it's five reps to failure, 45 per, reps per week is her mantra, isn't it? For Absolutely. Strength, for strength training. Absolutely. So it's mm. not about how many reps you can do it's about increasing that load so that your tendon yeah. is is developing that capacity to to work within that yeah that's good yeah. and pass the test there that's good yeah. 